sounds loud. There is no replacement for displacement. Well, AMG seems to disagree. Meet the new C63 SE Performance. The previous generation used to have a 4-litre V8. This one has a 2-litre 4-cylinder, but it still somehow makes 168 bhp more than before. Is that enough to make up for the loss of the V8? Well, we are at the Booth International Circuit to find out. Before we begin though, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon to stay notified. Now let's start at the business end. Under the hood is the world's most powerful four-cylinder engine. This 2-litre engine puts out 470 bhp on its own. And there's a lot of Formula 1 tech that goes behind this engine. For example, the block itself is a closed deck design. What essentially that means is that it can take a lot of boost. It's very strong, the engine itself. Providing that boost is this Garrett turbocharger. This is massive. Just look at the size of this thing. And it also has an electric motor housed within, which spins up the turbo at low RPM so that you don't get turbo lag. Also, there is an electric motor on the rear axle providing another 201 bhp. So combined output is 671 bhp and 1020 newton meters. On the outside, the C63 sets itself apart with a 76mm wider front track and beefed up fenders. It also has a more aggressive body kit and a functional bonnet vent. Standard wheels are 19 inches, but the F1 edition flaunts stunning 20 inch alloys. At the back, exhaust finishers mimic quad tailpipes, but look closer and you'll spot just two outlets. Overall, the C63 is not too in your face, and to the uninitiated, it will fly under the radar. The F1 editions, however, are a lot more flamboyant. Inside, the S-Class like dash layout is very familiar, but the C63 is enhanced in all the right places. The sports seats are extremely comfortable and supportive, the Alcantara wrapped steering wheel feels great to hold, and it features rotary drive mode selectors to cycle through the various modes. But I'll let AMG Chief Instructor Reinhold Reini Renger take you through them. The range is around 13 kilometers, depends how much you push. Of course, you have also balance, which means um, it uh, keeps the, the battery level, it try to keep the battery level like it is. Uh, individual yep. and slippery. Slippery means uh, when you have really slippery conditions, then it's very soft. Everything is not so aggressive, and um, and you can change up then till um, S plus and race uh, because it's the S version. So race. Here we have the different buttons: ESP, for example, or the gearbox. You can switch, change the menu, like as you know, and uh, when you press the outside button then you activate the menu so now it's manual shifting automatic shifting for example or ESP uh, sport handling or off or on again okay. yeah now it's on in race mode the powertrain unleashes its full aggression with lightning fast shifts from the 9-speed MCT gearbox enabling a blistering 0 to 100 time but, uh, we can do a race start and the track race. That's what you can do later as well. So okay. hard on the brake, pull on the brake, and power and go. And let's see what is the acceleration. So, okay. Acceleration was 3.4. So, excellent. Pretty exactly at the claim. Pretty okay. okay. Yes. What's most impressive though is the way the car deploys its electric energy over a lap using the boost strategy. So for boost strategy, um, you go a track race and then it asks for boost strategy. And not for all tracks, but for some tracks, there's a boost strategy available. So then I open it, okay. And I can decide now with this button, hot lap or endurance. Okay. Hot lap, then it calculates the power for one super qualifying lap. And then you will see the boost strategy over there. Boost is there mm -hmm. and it shows you and indicates you now on which parts of the track you boost and also how long. You have full throttle and then you have this kick down button. Yeah. Yeah? 
So this means when you see boost and it starts red, it shows you exactly how long you will see it soon. Uh, you boost and then you just reduce the kick down button. Okay. Not go off throttle, okay. just this little bit. at both international circuit before but every time you come here it's very special i have the track all to myself a c63 at my disposal and let's see what it's like first the big talking point of course is the engine two liters four cylinders no more v8 but in terms of performance it's all there it's there and then there is some more i mean fast is fast whether it's a four cylinder or a v8 this thing is rapid the brakes carbon ceramic brakes are optional this car is running on steel brakes but even on steel brakes stopping power is incredible carbon ceramics would be useful if you're regularly running on track but in everyday driving and occasional track use steel brakes work just fine what about the handling now this is a heavy car 2.1 tons that is a lot it does a really good job of hiding that weight this is the first c63 with all wheel drive formatic plus and that does an excellent job of putting the power down it's extremely stable it's extremely customizable it gives you a lot of confidence to push through the corners it is distinctly rear driven but at the same time you get a lot of confidence to put the power down when you need to steering feel is good it's electric of course not quite as much feel as you would get from a hydraulic system but still it is very good each mode that you choose also changes the way the steering behaves What you of course miss is that sound of a V8. The four cylinder does a really good job and for a four cylinder this sounds in my opinion very good. Some of the sound is augmented through the speakers but even then I think it sounds really good. It sounds aggressive. It sounds very race car like. But you do miss a V8. Now the special thing about the V8 was when the W 204 came out in about 2007 or so I used to live in the gulf back then and all of a sudden all over the place there were C63s they were immensely popular there because the people there genuinely love muscle cars and that W204 was very much like a german muscle car it made the noise it had that drama even if you were just driving slowly it would always have that rumble beneath you and I had never driven one but even from the outside it just seemed exciting every time a C63 went past that is what would be missing in something like this but there is no denying the fact that the technology going behind this car is incredible the rear electric motor for example it sends power to the front wheels via the same drive shaft how that works is incredible you really need an engineering degree to understand everything that's going on in this car Yeah, it's no surprise that the brakes are smoking because it is just so fast. Prices start at rupees 1.95 crore, and I know that is a lot of money. But this thing is a technological tour de force. It can tear up the track and then drive silently in EV mode in the city. It is quite incredible the tech that goes behind this car. However, that V8 rumble that will sorely be missed. If you like this video, do leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and stay tuned for more videos just like this.